what is up guys it's your boy jenna and phantom is just around the corner and that's why i wrote like a i love like you're supposed to have like a i have only a taco shirt okay don't judge me but it's just around the corner and i just wanted to have like a fun video where like i picked like these three anime girls who basically deserve better in like their relationship where either it might suck or it just it just doesn't the writing isn't good for them and they deserve better so let's see what three characters that I decided to pick and yeah let's go into the video shall we so the first character I decided to choose is Urza Scholar from Fairy Tale. now she is actually one of the best characters in the show honestly she is like a great leader and has like one of the most unique powers in there like she can like equip her own armor and like get like any kind of sword or weapon and she's very strong and yeah I think a very very good character in my opinion but I will say probably the worst thing about the character is probably like the love relationship that they try to do in this show. If you don't know, she's she has like a thing for Jalal. Now he's like a he used to be a magic counselor, and he actually had like an evil twin. Well, it turns out the magic counselor dude, he was actually a hologram, and the evil twin was controlling him, and. He was trying to do this evil plot where he destroyed the whole world and once he got defeated we realized that yeah he was possessed by a demon he doesn't really remember none of that or he seen he's he saw all this horrible things happen but he just couldn't stop it so yeah from like the best character urza to like fall in love with jalal <laughs> like well, how that happened and the reason how they met was Urza and Jalal were kidnapped into like slavery into this little like abandoned like island I guess I guess Urza just liked his leadership and she just fell for him but he got caught and got in trouble and then he got possessed by the evil spirit and then yeah and then after all this happened they tried so hard to like redeem Jalal and it's like no nah, I don't know like it there's a lot of problems with Jalal and Urza. Like I, I was like, like, like I said before, one of the best characters. It's kind of hard to like imagine that to happen. So yeah. So the second character is Mikasa from Attack on Titan. Actually, now now this show is mostly about like the the war with Titans or something like that. But there's really no real romance. I feel like, but there's just a little bit of hints. And I don't know if she does or doesn't have like a thing for Eren Yergeborg, who is like the main protagonist. Now they used to like live together, but they're not related. Her parents adopted her when she was just a child because she rescued him and her dad. And they grew up together all these years. So Eren gave like a Mikasa a scarf and actually she wore it for the whole like season. And this season by them, it goes by year. So it started like when they're like little kids and they're like now grown adults basically so for her to like wear that scarf for those all those many years is probably something that you do that for like your loved ones and she also like protected him and she is always on his side no matter what now there's like a whole backstory of why she's like this and maybe because for of the blood that she has like with her name or something like that i don't remember they try to explain but and Aaron over here, he's not taking all these hints that like this girl is like, she is like one of the best like a titan killer. She's like very well trained and like does basically anything she he does or he does. And I don't know why he doesn't like, you know, make a move. But apparently he's too busy like killing titans, you know. Oh, boring titans, you know. I don't know. That's just me. And she deserves way better than whatever happened to that. What was that last season where it was just poop. I won't lie the last season was kind of like the, the season I don't remember how many seasons it was but the last season was part of the worst one in my opinion so my final character that I decided to pick is from is Rem from ReZero starring life from another world now Rem is like a maid who has like cool powers and can basically do anything and she basically falls in love with Subaru uh, a, a protagonist who comes into this new world and he doesn't know nothing about it. He, like, he looks different compared to them. He saves her like once. And she just completely fell over heels for her. her him. Uh, 
he, she just felt she just had strong feelings for him. Unfortunately, Subaru fell in love with another girl, like an elf girl named Emily, who actually lives in who lives in that that huge mansion that that Rem is like a maid for. So that mansion is gonna have like a lot of drama. I feel like. And honestly, if I had to pick from Rem and Emily, like to choose, I feel like Rem is like the better character. Like Emily hasn't like shown like true emotions. She's literally, I mean, maybe it's the character, but it looks like she's just reading like lines and just acting like a robot, like beep boop bop. Unlike Rem where she's like kind and gentle and you know, she has like a demon sign of her. <laughs> maybe that's why Subaru doesn't love her back because he's seen like the demon behind her. Bah like he seen like the demon side of her so maybe that's why yeah Rem deserves better and funny enough I actually cosplay as her which is hilarious and Subaru he's like a very normal person I would say he's like one of us like a person who likes anime and manga doesn't have like real skills so yeah Rem deserves better than Subaru who like had like the girl of his dreams basically and said no and yeah, those are just the three characters I've found like in like three day research guys. So I know there's like a trillion way more ones that are like way more, more cruel. I feel like these are just the simple ones that I just found like instantly. So let me know your uh, enemy girls or guys. Cause I know there's some that guys fall in love with girls who are like, like uh, Naruto and Sakura, <clears throat> yeah, um, like that was dumb. Oh uh, yeah, okay guys, but let me know your thoughts in this love relationships in anime and how some are good, some are just never gonna be great. Other than that, guys, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Boys.